Hi everyone! In this video, I will introduce the past simple English tense. This grammar tense can help you explain a past general state, action, or habit. There's a lot to learn and it's a very important tense, so keep watching! In this video, I will talk about the be verb in the past simple tense. The be verb in the past simple tense can be used to describe a past general state. We use the be verbs was and were in this tense. Take a look at the examples. I was scared. James or he was a teacher. She was sad. My dog was hungry. My dog can be it. So for I, he, she, it, we use the past tense be verb was. However, for you, we, and they, we use were. You were a good student. Your parents, or they, were at the park. And we were at home for two hours. In this last sentence, you see that the duration is emphasized. Great job! Let's move on. Now, I will talk about regular verbs in the past simple tense. Take a look at these examples. Liam played a game. Liam is a he, but really it doesn't matter for regular verbs in the past simple tense because no matter what the subject is, all we have to do is add D or ED to the end of the verb. Here, the verb is play, so I added ED. Liam played a game. The car, or it, needed gas. The verb here is need. For the past simple tense, I added ED. We watched a movie. Again, an ED at the end of watch. You exercised for an hour. In this case, the verb is exercise. I only need to add a D to make it the past tense. And finally, they usually worked after school. The verb is work, and I added an ED to make it in the past tense. The word usually shows that this was a habit. Remember, the past simple tense can be used to show past habits. Let's move on. Now, I'll talk about irregular verbs in the past simple tense. Remember, for regular verbs, we only add D or ED to make a verb into the past tense. However, for irregular verbs, we have to change the verb in a different way. Let's take a look at some examples. I ate with my friend. The verb here is ate. Ate is the past simple tense of eat. The next example says Nara wrote a story. The verb is write, and because it's irregular, to change it into the past tense, we change the verb to wrote. You often came home late. The verb here is come, and it's been changed to came. You'll notice that we had the word often to show a habit. We bought a camera. The verb here is buy, and it's been changed to bought to show the past simple tense. And finally, my parents sent me money for a year. Here, the verb sent is the past tense of send. Here, we also see for a year. This shows duration. Let's move on. Now, I will talk about the negative form for the be verb in the past simple tense. Here are some examples. The first one says, I was not hungry. For the past simple tense, the negative be verb, if the subject is I, he, she, or it, we say was not. For example, I was not, or she was not, or the contraction wasn't, I wasn't, she wasn't. So let's look again. I was not hungry. She wasn't home today. Now, if the subject is you, we, or they, we say were not, or the contraction weren't. The children, or they, 
were not quiet. The children were not quiet. And then the dog or it was not or wasn't playful. Let's move on. Now let's talk about how to form the negative in the past simple tense for non be verbs, regular or irregular. Here are some examples. I did not like him. What we do for non be verbs is simply put did not after the subject. And you'll notice that for the verb, we don't make any changes. We keep the base verb. He didn't catch the ball. Again, it's he did not, but here we used a contraction. He didn't catch the ball. They didn't dance. Again, Here's the contraction for did not. And you'll notice that for the verb, we didn't change it at all. Here's an irregular verb and here's a regular verb. We keep them in the base form. And finally, we didn't think about that. Again, we simply say did not or didn't. Let's move on. Now, I will introduce two ways to form questions for the past simple tense. Take a look at the first example. He was angry. In this first sentence, we see the be verb was. It's quite easy. All you have to do to turn this into a question is switch the order of the first two words. Was he angry? You can answer by saying yes, he was, or no, he wasn't. The next sentence also has a be verb. They were comfortable. So again, switch the first two words. Were they comfortable? The answers can be yes, they were, or no, they weren't. However, look at the third sentence. Sam lived here. There is no be verb in this sentence. Instead, we see the action verb lived. So what we do is, no matter what the subject, we start the question with did. Did Sam? live here, you'll notice that the verb no longer is in the past tense. We use the base form of the verb. Did Sam live here? You can say yes, he did or no, he didn't. The last sentence is similar. They won the contest last year. The verb here is won. That's not a be verb. So again, we start the question with did and then the subject, they. We use the base form of the verb, and that's win. Did they win the contest last year? You can say, yes, they did, or no, they didn't. Let's move on. Now, I'll introduce how to create and answer WH questions in the past simple tense. Take a look at the board. We have some WH words here. What, when, where, and why. You'll notice that after each WH word comes the word did. What did, when did, where did, and why did. What comes after that? The subject, and then the base form of the verb. So, let's take a look. What did you do last night? What did you do last night? I can answer by saying something like, I watched a movie or I read a book. You'll notice that the answer is in the past simple tense. When did you get home last night? I got home at 10 p.m. Where did they eat lunch? They ate lunch at home. Again, ate is the past tense of eat. Answer in the past simple tense. And finally, why did the company hire him? The company hired him because he's a hard worker. Let's move on. Wow, we learned a lot in this video. Keep studying and reviewing the past simple tense. It's an essential tense that will help you talk about the past. Keep studying English, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.